Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and yes, welcome to episode number one in the Juventus career mode. I almost said Leeds United career mode for a second. Now, I am so excited for this career mode. There's a lot of players that I'm looking forward to using. I think first we gotta go through the formation and figure out which one we're gonna use. I think this original formation that we have is good. But I think a different formation. Like maybe like a 4 4 1 attack, a 4 4 1 midfield. Cam. I think I'm liking this. Make Dibala Cam. First of all, put Ronaldo as a striker. Look at this. This is, a, this is what I'm liking. First of all, Chiesa. I'm, Alexandra will go in at LB, which is left back. And the lit. And we're going to need a partner for him. So I think this is the formation I'm using. We, we got some good talents. We don't have a lot of depth. I think overall for improvements, I'd like to get a new right back, a center back, and a goalkeeper. And try to make the moves of Morata, Chiesa, and McKenney permanent. I don't like... Some of you are like, why are you selling Chesney, Bonucci? Um, who else? Um, Chiellini. Well, that's one thing. One, because their contracts are running down. And two, just because they're a little, like, past their prime. And they're going to start downgrading. And we can make the most out of them right now. I think already the most important thing we have to do is add another deal to Buffon's contract. We can't have him staying for less. And that we need a Chesney is up for sale. He's little up for sale. Sandro will stay here for one season. Luca Pellegrini is gonna come back from loan. I'm planning on using him as a left mid probably. Christian Romero is for sure coming back. Daniel Rugani is also coming back. Wherever he is. Some of you are like, why are you recalling me? Terrible at Juventus. Well, I think that Juventus just didn't give him the chance. Silly Gio's out on loan, Costa's out on loan, Sam Kadira up for sale, who else? Ramsey, get out of my club. Um, um, no, that's it pretty much. So, let's also make a team too, to see where we need improvements. I think two new right backs though. We're gonna need quite a few improvements. Team two: striker Morata, Cam, Bernadeschi, winger probably. Do we have another left back? Daniello can play there. I'm not too keen on using him, so we're gonna need a left back. Rugani will play there alongside Romero. Oh, I forgot to list them right off for sale. I don't really like them right now. I think Romero and Rugani deserve their chances with Juventus. Just, to me, Demarayal is, like, not good enough for Juventus, so get out of my club, Demarayal. First team sorted, for sure, except we need a right back and a new keeper and a center back. That's funny how I said that so quickly. Buffon, for sure, is going in. I want to win the Champions League this season. We need a new right back with Daniello really not in my... Well, he's not, like, I don't want to really use him. I think I might just either I have options. I could I think I'm gonna make I think we have I'll, I'll, let me just I'm getting confused right now. Let's just continue. This is the midfield. This is right now how we would look if we didn't sign any wingers because we need wingers. We I think. We could do something like we put Pellegrini there. We sign a new left back instead because I don't want to sign two wingers. First of all, it's not how it's going to go, but is this a formation with the LM? Yeah, it's a formation with the LM. Will Chiesa and Kuliveski go down? Nope. Nothing will happen. Um, Where is it? Daniel, I forgot to put up for sale. As well as Juan Cuadrado. I miss, I'm missing a couple players. 
Where is it? Where is that Pellegrini dude? Who is this guy? I want to see his stats. This could be the next guy. I don't think we need to sign a winger when we have a perfectly good one. Douglas Costa's past his prime. This guy's young. Talented, probably. This Padraigal guy can play right wing. I gotta make the Pellegrini a left mid. This seems like it's gonna go really well. This is not the... It's a lot of... This team has got a lot of deadwood is what I've noticed. Deadwood. Just pure deadwood. Here. See how long it'll take for him to be kind of LM. Shouldn't take too long considering I believe he plays wing back in real life. Mid. Center mid. Left mid only takes 52 weeks. It'll take half. Pretty much almost the whole season. But... I don't care. Anybody else I forgot to list for sale? Flying through? No, 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 no. Okay, so... Let's see. Have we sorted everything out for the second team? Almost. We just need a right back and a left back. First team, we could use a right back and a keeper and a center back. So let's do just that. For keeper, I think I already know. I want Buffon is Italian, so I think in his tradition. Oh shoot, not Donny van de Beek. I'm not signing Donny van de Beek. Don't worry about that. Um, I want to sign this man. His name is Gianluigi Donnarumma. I want to. Buffon is Italian, so I want to bring the next generation of Italian players in. He is gonna be expensive, and when I mean expensive, expensive. We might honestly have to go for a different keeper. I'm going to take a look around. I want to see how much Ter Stegen is. Him or Kochua could be good. Oh, no. He's way more. How much is Kochua? Kochua is 90, I think, as well. So he'll be expensive. Thibaut Kochua? Thibaut. Thibaut Kochua? How do you spell his name? Coach? It's like that, I think. Tebow coach while here. How much is he worth? 89 million. 89. He is 28, but I kind of want a younger keeper. I want to do Donnarumma. I feel like we'll have enough. Donnarumma is my first player that I want to sign. And number two on the list. A right back we need more than anything. So I want to go for a Portuguese player by the name of João Cancelo. It's going to be quite expensive. I want to see how much he's even worth. Oh, 49 mil. I don't think if we want to sign a center back to that's high quality, then we're going to be able to go for that expensive a right back and another right back on top of it. Let's look around at some right backs. Javier Apollo, no. No. Gino Dest is a great player. He might be good for us as a backup. I think I'm going to go for Sergio Dest as a backup right back. I'm just going to scout him so I don't risk not getting him. No, Audrey Azola I think might be a good number one if he is high rated or decently. If he's like a 79, I'll, accept, I'll let him come. To, I'll be, I'll pretty much just sign him. If he's a 79 or even an 80, I'll sign him. I like pacey players if you all haven't seen my career mode. I'm also looking around at some other options. Zhao mm, Concept. Hector Bayern is also good. The price, I think, is just going to prove to be too much. Let's look through, maybe anybody else. Wambi Sokka, but he is so darn expensive. I'd love to sign him in season two. Or maybe season three. I don't know how long we're going to be here. Maybe season two seasons max. Who knows? It depends if we win the Champions League. We might even be here one season. And then for a center back. I think we need somebody really good. I think I know exactly who to go for. He goes by the name of Romagnoli. 51 million. I also have one more option at right back that he could go for by the name of Kevin Mbabu, who is also very fast and good. So yeah, I'm not going to make any official signings just yet. 
get a couple players sold. I'm gonna turn training off because I really, really do not want my players being tired. I don't like that, that they sometimes, because with training they become very tired. Let's see, let's keep going. I'm glad you have decided to put me up for sale. All of them are saying I'm glad to put you up for sale. Probably, or some of them at least. Pellegrini loan offer. I'm going to reject that as he is a part of my plans. Sergino does the final scout report. Mbabu's final scout report. Audrey Zola's worth 25 mil so he's around that rating probably and kevin and bob what happened somebody just wanted my eye heck wow that was painful it's pretty stingy so it depends honestly who's higher rated is it gonna be sergino dis we're probably gonna sign but i'm just gonna wait a little bit to see who's the higher rated one Audrey is all a Kadir offer for 14 mil. We can't get much more, and it's Barcelona, surprisingly, knocking on the door. Oh, freeze. Audrey is all a scout report came back. Piazic isn't this the guy we called from loan. Why does Everton want all our players? They already tried to get Pellegrini. Audrey is 79. Him and Mbabu are the same. Hmm. Him or Mbabu? Got him, Babu, 79, 91 speed. It's hard to go say no against that with all these good stats. He's got good speed. Or Audrey Zola, who could be a good signing, too. I want to see Audrey Zola's stats. What is Audrey Zola known for? Crossing is very good, which could be a key. He's decently fast. Dust is very quick, I know that. Let's see the crossing bet between him and Mbabu. 81 crossing, crossing. Wow, he's got some good tackles. I think you can't go against Mbabu. Even though I want to sign Andrea Zola, I'm going to have to go for Kevin Mbabu. Unfortunately, Andrea Zola, it's not your day. But then there's Andrea Zola, it's a good crossing. Not the best speed, though. We're going to need speed. Let's go for Mbabu. I'm going to go in and negotiate with the Wolves to work for Kevin Mbabu. 20, I'm going to say 28 million. I put loose on. It's always going to be loose. They want Rodrigo Benton core. No, not having any of it. I'll give you 28 mil. 42 mil. Okay, we can work. How about 35 mil wolves? If we can get him for 35 and I'll give even like a 15% sell on clause, that would be nice. Okay, 38 mil, they're getting closer to my evaluation of them. So I'll just accept it. 38 million from Babu. Now let's see, he's gonna get the first team spot for sure. Next, uh, a crucial squad roll. Accept an injury, obviously. Let's see, maybe four, five year deal. He's pretty young. No. He only wants a three year deal. But a two year deal, but I'll offer him a three year deal, which he accepts. No release clause, perfect for me. Not settled here. So let's see, maybe give him 60 grand, maybe 100 grand in bonuses. 140, how's that, Mbabu? 60K plus 140,000 bonus. Okay. He wants. We'd be looking for 550,000 bonus. I don't want that extra 270,000. He, for five appearances, yeah, no. No, no, no appearance bonus. And Kevin Mbabu has signed for Juventus. Our first signing in this career mode is a right back. Which makes sense considering how bad that position was. Quadrado is not really even a right back. Mbabu is there. Slides in. Sergio does might probably will be signed this episode but i don't know might be signed this episode that's a maybe kadira sold for 15 million napoli are okay they're offering highest age which is the left back which we could use i'm gonna 
gonna go so do we have a left back currently no we don't i don't believe that for the second team highest age is 78 no he won't even come close to alexandro i'm gonna negotiate with napoli Let's negotiate with Hyasage or negotiate with Napoli. And they're also giving us five million. Who else do they have? Do they have another right back? They got Giovanni Lorenzo. They got Mario Rui. They are not offering us a bad deal. The question is, I want to see Hyasage's stats. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna accept that offer. Let's just lower it to just so I can get this deal done. Five million, and we could already. I'm just gonna negotiate with this highestage guy. Probably has decent stats. We're making some fullback improvements, all right. Rotation. That makes sense. I'd see. Talk about his role in the team. I'll just give him a three-year deal since he's 26. No release clause. Straight to the money. He only 60 grand. I'll give him 80 grand. How about 200? How's that for you? Pretty decent bonus. And we have got Hyacinth in. Now they're going to negotiate with Juan Quadrado. Wait, Juan Quadrado is already in. First of all, we have already made two signings in 15 days, I believe. No, no, club news. Kevin and Babu, insane stats. And now we have just got a left back in as a backup, which is very good. I'm very glad that he is, ex is Oh, the deal has to go through with Haya Sage. We have accepted with Haya Sage, and now we just gotta wait for Quadrado to be sold. Once he gets sold, he is sold. Haya Sage in. We got three million, which isn't bad, actually. Team two just got a is officially now almost complete. We just need to get a right back. Which I don't know why Arthur is even playing there. Daniello ain't getting no start. Don't know if I'll make any more signings for this episode. Shazzy might just be playing. But I don't want to. Ramsey for... We could get 32 million out of Porto. West Ham want Bonucci. Jeez, we'll be able to afford everybody if we get these two guys sold for like a combo of 50 million. We like 140 million our budget. 50 million. If they have that type of money. I don't know if they do. 46. I feel like they might walk out. 36. They don't have that money. West Ham clearly probably. So I'm accepting 36 million. I mean it's. Porto probably doesn't have that much of a budget either. If they accept 50 mil, I will be shocked. They might have sold like Philippe, no, not Philippe Anderson. Maybe they sold their midfielder and want Ramsey. That would be though interesting. Who would they have sold? If they accept 45 mil, that would be brilliant for a 29 year old. No. 32 mil is a little under his valuation. It's a, it's a 29 year old. You're getting 32 mil for him. That's brilliant. Brilliant business. I'm so glad that I sold him. Chiellini now. Wow, offers are coming in thick and fast. I don't know. We're just going to be so rich. We could even make Moratas, Chiesas, McKennies. We're going to have so much money. And I'm going to put it all to good use. Daniello offer. I'm accepting that from Atalanta. Oh, shoot. Ramsey's broken down i guess he didn't want to go to portugal bonucci has been sold a lot of players have been sold demoreal from leicester city that is an interesting offer really interesting offer actually ramsey another offer but this time for munich i think he might accept this this time at least there's so many players being sold. I don't want Pellegrini to go. 
Reject. Pellegrini going nowhere. It's going absolutely nowhere. Demoniel's been sold. Daniello's been sold. Ramsey's been sold. Youth squad. We've never even checked our youth squad. Oh my. We might have some good players. Okay, so we got 47 rated talented. Adios. We got a 50 rated Karlovic. 39 rated, which is not even going to get close. Release from Youth Academy. Yeah, we're not. I don't want that kid. Oh, we have just hit a jackpot. We got a 72 rated kid in our team. That is unusual. Okay, promote. He's getting promoted. If we wait any longer, then it's not going to be good. Who, where is he going to play? He has got, there's got to be somewhere he can play. Ooh, maybe, can he play anywhere else? I play center mid. Maybe over, I think I might put him over Kia. So this, I'm the Angelino guy. I wanted to keep on desky, but honestly right now, I am just considering selling him just because we just have a 72 rated jackpot in our youth academy. Okay, so I'm sorry I didn't want to do this to you, but we have something special in our youth academy. It will probably be higher rated than Bernadeski soon. But look at this, eight million he's valued. I want to give him a big pay rise. He only owns six grand. Oh, we promoted him, so that's a new deal, I guess. That is very interesting, though. Um, let me fix this bench up a bit. No, no. Pijaka, there we go. That's a better looking bench. But this is such a jackpot, honestly. We have literally hit the jackpot with this youth academy. I didn't want to sell you Bernadeski, but that that just 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 proves to show that. I always get lucky in my Youth Academy players, especially on PS4. On my Xbox, I get absolutely no luck. I get like so much low rated players. But a 72 rated jackpot. Brilliant. We got this Super Copa final versus Napoli. Ronaldo's already gone down by one, which is not good. Lugani will start till Romagnoli gets signed, probably. Or even Koulibaly, I don't know. This is the 11 I'm going with. Let's see if it can beat. Napoli. I believe our captain is the lit, if I'm not mistaken, but I might just give that to Cristiano Ronaldo. But it that's a maybe. But I think I might keep it with the lit actually. No Chiellini, no leader. You know what? When Romagnoli, if Romagnoli comes in, he's gonna be captain. Right now it's gonna be the lit as captain. Arthur is making his debut. So is Mbabu. Chiesa, Kulivesky, McK no, McKenny, I don't think so. But here we go. Ronaldo, first match in this Juventus career mode. Paulo Dybala, Kulivesky, bad challenge by Insigne. One minute in, he's going to get a yellow. Surely, no. Now Kevin Mbappé's first touch in a jer jer Juventus jersey. Rugani, Mbappé in his first, his first run in a Juventus jersey. The ball does come in at the back post as Chiesa, but cleared away. Now Dries Mertens, Victor Ossiman, Lozano, Mertens, do something. Oh, great work there by Delit, honestly. Now Rugani. Ronaldo, is Chiesa offside? I believe he is not. Chiesa, oh, what a terrible, oh, it goes in. It's 1-0, and Federico Chiesa. I thought he was offside, and I thought that finance would not have worked out. But it is in. We got to upgrade his weak foot, surely. But that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We got to also do Ronaldo's skill. I want more skill moves out of Ronaldo. Maybe we can do some fancy skills. Uh-oh. Lozano's flying past Alexandro. Alexandro catches up. The ball does come in our captain just for this match. Rugani clears it away. Paulo Dybala, so quick, plays through Ronaldo. Ronaldo now goes for it. What a save by Ospina. Well, we are dominating Napoli. What is Koulibaly doing? 
with his partner at the back. I have no idea who it is. Rugani goes for the header, but cleared away. Well, not cleared away. Wide. And I thought Lozano would get a touch, but he smartly let it go. Ospina. I think Merritt should be the number one for Napoli. Uh, Alexandro had it. Dries Mertens. I'll see, man. Up goes Alexandro. Well, Alexandro is right there. Dries Mertens is there. And Chesney in his probably last match clears it away. Now Dybala. Out to Kuliveski. Who, this kid has got a vicious left foot. I've used him before in career mode, not uh, on YouTube, but like just regular playing by myself. And that, that kid is insane. He scored like 10 goals for me at least, maybe more in a season, I didn't, which I did not finish. Oh, Koulibaly nearly, well, I think Ronaldo nearly got it. Not Dybala, who's very quick, must I say. Arthur does excellently there. Now through to Paulo Dybala. Back post is Ronaldo! And it is 2-0 versus Juventus. Oh, what a terrible camera angle. It doesn't show Ronaldo's beautiful big forehead. Great ball from in from Dybala. Napoli players are appealing for offside. Costas Malas didn't even get close to Ronaldo. And, well, Ronaldo did what... Did what Ronaldo does. Score goals. <laughs> now Dries Mertens. Napoli are now 2-0 in front. We are dominating them. That I think honestly Dybala in this game has just been insane. He's I believe he's got a goal and an assist if I'm not mistaken. Or I might be wrong. Alexandro tries to play that to Ronaldo. Didn't work out. Now Dries Mertens. The lit with a great challenge. Now Arthur. Pokes it to Kuliveski. Out back to Ronaldo. Tried to get around Kulibali. Didn't work out. But Ronaldo gets it back. Now Kuliveski. Is Kiesa gonna get there? No. Juan Quadrado is playing us literally like three or four weeks after we sold him. Now Fabian. Reese Mertens. Fabian. Lozano. Osimen. Great work there by Arthur. Now Dibala. Ooh, just pokes that through for Ronaldo. I believe he is off, but I'm just gonna try. Yeah, he was off. They called it way too late, though. They should have called it early. But I am so shocked to see that we have a youth academy player who is 72 rated. How is that even possible? He probably has mad potential. Now Fabian didn't work out there. The lit has got to get something on it. Fabio. Tried to block it, but Insigne was there and hit the volley. And Chesney saved it. Now Fabian with the corner. Insigne. The ball comes in. Koulibaly goes for the header. I believe it took a deflection off of Arthur Mello, if I'm not mistaken. I, no, I think it was Rugani who got the final touch. Now Insigne up against Chiesa again. The ball does successfully come in again. Chesney did well there. Now Lozano. The ball does come in. Chiesa get there. No. Now Chesney. Kevin Mbabu. Rugani. Halftime. And I'm going to bring on that young kid who is probably going to be insane. Seems like we've been running quite a bit. Who is this De Angelino guy? What is his main that's got decent really good pace act. not bad 72 76 passing he could use some work on dribbling 81 composure which means he's very calm 74 vision 70 out creation 85 agility 83 balance 73 spin speed 71 stamina mm -hmm. 76 short pass wow he's got leadership okay bring him on let's also bring on hyacinth for his debut I've never signed this guy. The offer just came in. I'm like, why not? We well, we don't need to sign anybody. We'll just sign a new right back, a center back, and a keeper, and we'll be on our way. If we just, with just signing Hyacinth, it just made our job a lot easier. Now Lozano. Costas Manolas. Fabian. 
Fabian, hurry up. Oh no. Lozano now. The ball does come in. And Babu clears it away. Good work there. Oh, Seaman. And it beats Chesney. And it's 2 1 versus Napoli in the Super Copa final. Now, Chiesa, I believe. Yeah, that's Chiesa. Beats Koulibaly. Beats everybody. Zielinski, too. And he beats. What a goal from Federico Chiesa, who gets his second of the match. Dribbled excellently past Koulibaly and all his friends. Is Koulibaly the captain? I believe Koulibaly is the captain. Let's see if Ospina did get a touch. Yeah, he did get a touch. Not enough, though, to keep that power shot out. Is that young kid playing? I want to use him. I want to see how he feels. Debt on... De Angelo is his name. That's a cool name. I'll look at his real name in the squad hub, but that's a pretty darn cool name, if I must say so myself. Now Koulibaly. Up. Now Fabian. Up. Lozano's offside, clearly. Now Delit. Hyacid. Never used this guy ever. In, even by myself, I haven't used him. Hyacid. Chiesa. Chiesa does excellently to turn. He's going to go for it on that left foot of his. Ping pong off the crossbar. If that had won in, what a legendary goal that would have been. And is it a penalty? No, Kulibeski was offside. That was so close. I'm going to make our final change of the game. I'm going to bring on Alvaro. Or, no, I want to use Pijica for Kulibeski. I'm curious. He's not good dribbling, this kid. We can make him a five-star, five-star, and he'd be even more good. Cooley Veski, I'd love to be a five-star, five-star, as well as Ronaldo. And that De Angelino guy. Now Arthur. I wanna, the De Angelino guy has hardly got the ball. Or De Angelo guy. Zielinski. But in my Leeds career mode, we hit a jackpot too. We got a 68 rated Austin guy who turned out to be a monster for us. Became 81 rated. And even in the third season, when I changed his position to center back, got higher rated than Nikolo Milenkovic, which was shocking to me. Now Mario Rui. Bolo's come in. Just cleared away. Now Chesney with that throw to Pijaka. Great turn there. Pijaka, Arthur Mello, Arthur Mello, the ball's going to come in, up goes Ronaldo, he can't get much on that, it was really hard, Koulibaly I believe jumped up with him, so when you're fate jumping up against Koulibaly or Ronaldo, you're going to have a tough time stopping them, to either clear the ball away or score, now Quadrado, come on Chiesa, block it, now Kostas Mana lost. Now Chiesa. Ravio. Ronaldo. Great block there by Kostas Mana lost. Fabian. Dries Mertens. Up. Bellarabi. How is he onside? He surely has got to be offside. Oh, Seaman's in the middle. And it's 3 2. Is it going to be disallowed? No. It's 3 2. And. With 15 minutes to go, we got to do something here. Now Pijaka tries to get past his man, but he had two men on him. Insigne, up. Oh, how has that gone through? Hyacinth, what a touch by Bellarabi. Hyacinth has got to get back. The ball does come in. Great clearance from Negrani. Now Arthur. Pijaka. He doesn't have the best pace, but he's, he's running pretty fast here in the middle. To Ronaldo at the back post. Oh, why didn't Chiesa hit that first time? It was right in front of him. Now Ronaldo, the shot well saved. Napoli are just trying to clear their lines. Now, here goes Zielinski up. Insigne, Mbabu's pretty quick. This is why I signed him. Oh, great work there from Kevin Mbabu. Now Delit. Oh, shoot, Zielinski. Ravio makes a great challenge there. Now Pijaka. Zielinski, Osiman. We may just be prevented from winning the Super Copa. No! What a save! Final! No! And in the 
27th minute, we let we make they Napoli make it 3-3. A mistake from Kevin Mbabu. The lick gets beat. Great save by Chesney and Zielinski is right there on the follow-up. Oh, Ronaldo. I don't know the De Angelo guy. Insigne, we can't even let them score the winner. With such little time left, this would be embarrassing. Offside! Surely offside, yeah. He was probably offside, but anyway, Chesney saves it. Now Pijaka. Pijaka. Doing excellently here. Back pull! Rabiot has got us the 93rd minute winner versus Napoli. Andrea Rabiot. The Napoli players are on the floor. They know it's the feet. That was their, the last chance of the game. We were past extra time. The attack kept going. Quadrado couldn't defend against his former teammate, and we make it through 4-3. What a win. It's not over yet. Yeah, but as soon as Osimhen kicks it full time, and it's a win in the Super Cup of Final. What a game versus Napoli. I think I'm going to skip the trophy celebrations because it's only the Super Cup ball. But anyways, we won it. Nine nine shots, so pretty equal. It was a great game, by the way, from Napoli. So credit to them. Let's see how much rest time we have. Do I make any more signings? I think I might. Pijaka is not going anywhere. It's the second offer I've received, and I'm rejecting both. Bernadeschi has been sold so much money right now. We got at least 200 million. 200 plus million, yeah. You know what, now, nah, I'm just, I can't wait. I need, I think, I, Rugani at the back just didn't work. We need a little click. And I think signing Romagnoli and Donnarumma. We're just going to sign Romagnoli because we might sign Donnarumma next episode. I'm not excited to be right back. So yeah, let's go in for Romagnoli because I really do need a center back. Let's go for 70 mil for Romagnoli. Might be overpaying a bit. Okay, it says value was between 16 and 100 million, I believe. Let's go in and negotiate so we can get him in right away. Donnarumma will sign next episode for sure. We just need Chesney to sell. Even though we do have the money, clearly. I don't know what we're going to do with all that extra money. We might, with that De Angelo guy, we got too much money. In general, we still have too much money. But I think we might need Chesney to be sold if we're going to want to sign Chiesa, McKenny, and Morata permanently. Not important. Okay, whatever. Four-year deal, that's fine with me. I don't know why Mbaba didn't want a four-year deal, and he's younger. No release clause, perfectly fine with me. I'll settle, um, how about a hundred grand a week? Because he's going to be a crucial starter and he's going to want a higher pay rise. And I'd rather not give him a higher pay rise. How about 500 grand bonus? 100k, 500,000, and Romagnoli is in. Let's go, boys. Now we only got Rom Donnarumma and Serginio Dest to sign. And make the other guys move permanent. First team, Romagnoli is now in. Hyacinth needs to be on the bench. So if you're one, if you're like, don't put him on the bench, put Pellegrini instead. We have to because I gave him that contract. I gave him the wrong. I, I gave him a decent role. That's the last signing of the episode. I believe our first game versus is versus Torino. Rapio is going absolutely nowhere. He did get us the winner for his man seed, and now every team's probably going to go after him. And if an offer comes in for Ronaldo, you can. I'm not. Rapio. John McGinn, are you kidding me? He's only 77 rated. Yeah, Villa are out of their mind if they think I'm going to accept that. I'd, I'd trade Grealish for sure. But. I don't know. First game is versus Saw Solo, actually. I think I might use my second team. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use my second team. It's a little, little bit too weak for me to play. <laughs> um, I believe the start will have to be. Who can play there? We don't really have a right back. 
So Mbappé's gonna have to start again. Let's play it. The last match of the episode, then we'll end it off. Stretch a little. Morata's gonna get his debut. He didn't get it last ups, last match because I decided to bring on that Pijaka guy because I wanted to try him out. And he, he actually got an assist. McKenny, I feel like needs to improve. I feel like needs to do well because I did a Juventus crew by myself, not on this channel or even some, not even on YouTube. And McKenny was horrible for me. So I really hope we can he can be really good for us. I but I was playing him at CDM, which isn't even his natural role, so that might be why. So yeah. I think in midfield he might be a lot better. So here we go. Well, let's get this game started. Boga. I believe is like 90 something pace. Not Rodri Rodrio, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, come on. Pijak has got to get there. He does so. Plays Morata through. Morata is through here. Doesn't really have a lot of room to work. Does it? He's not going to keep that in. He couldn't really go for the shot. He had a defender closing him down. Now Konzi. Oh, beyond. But already we're pressuring Torino. Now Dariada. Boga. And Babu. He's got a chase. Romero. Oh, Biong. Dariada. Oh, no. The shot. What a save by Chesney. What a save. Oh, no. Buffon. Buffon. I'm so used to saying Chesney. Even though it's only been one match. What a save, though, by the veteran. Now, McKenny. Pijaka. McKenny. One more thing I'm also going to do before we end the episode off is I'm going to put our fullbacks on attacking runs. Now, De Angelino. And train some players to become a five star, five star. Now Morata, great work. Pellegrini, and he smashes that in the bottom corner. And on his debut, well, not his debut. Probably he's played for Juventus once, at least. Well, his debut under me, his first start, he gets a great goal. Bottom corner, nothing the keeper can do about that. Tons of power on it, and we make a 1 0 versus Sassuolo. Now, here's Dardia. Harley Sand, I believe it is. Pellegrini, please tackle, get it back. Pellegrini does well. Now Haya Sage. Can't get past his man. Now here's Maganilia, I think. Boga. Up to Rogerio. Great work there. Now both by Romero to block it, who's made two great blocks in this game. I think even three. McKenny, poor header from him. And then, I believe that's Romero, gives it straight away to Boga. Dardia. Oh, who is that? I think that might be a red card for Romero on his debut. Ah, I don't even think he's played a game for Juventus' first team. He only gets a yellow, which is fortunate. I'm going to put Benton on the line, and that's over Buffon's goal. Now Buffon. Romero. Kappa 2. Kappa Toa! Great block there by Buffon. Hiya, save. I'm going to play it back to Buffon. Back to Romero. Where's Kevin Mbabu? I gotta put Mbabu on attacking runs because I did that with Emerson in my lead career mode and he became a great player. He was a great player from the start, but he became even better. Great block there by Mbabu. Now Boga. Corner. Dardia, great catch by Buffon. I'm just gonna, we got numbers. Why does it seem like Mbabu's playing higher up? Monglia, oh, Benton Core gets beat, Boga. Hyacinth was a great challenge. Great work there by Dardia. Mbabu. Pijaka. De Angelino. Sassuolo have been dominating possession wise, but going forward, they have also been better. Now, Pijaka in the middle goes Morata, but that was a great last touch at the last minute by the Swasol defender. Benton court the corners. Up goes Morata off the line. Unfortunate there. 
Kevin and Bala with a great challenge. Now Weston McKenney. I was going to go for the shot. It's a foul in a great area here. Who's taking it? It's this dead Angelino guy. On his City of debut. Dead Angelino. Oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. I got it all wrong. I should have put more power in top corner. I messed it up by changing at the last second. I wish we had it. I could go back. Oh, I can rewind. I don't want to try that once. That's cheating, though. No, they don't have it, I don't think, on PS4. But on Xbox, you have it, where you have the ability to rewind. Now up to McKenny. De Angelino. Pijaka. In the middle. Morata was right there, but good work there to block it. Now Mbabu. Roger Rio. Bentancourt. Tries to clear it away. Kappa 2. Up to Harlison. Lugani get there. No. Great save by Buffon. The veteran is doing phenomenal in this game. Now Toljan. Half time. Sassuolo stats wise, shots wise have been dominating us. And every absolute single thing. They've probably been dominating. They've had more shots than we have. They've tested Buffon. We haven't really tested their keeper. We are, though, still winning. Now Pijaka was excellent dribbling, by the way. He's doing so well with just running with the ball forward. Oh, beats his man. Oh, beats him again. Pijaka off the post. That was nearly it. We have had the only real chance that we had to score was the corner front by Morata's header. The header by Morata. McKinney! Oh, what a goal! Deflection. Let's see. No. O M G. We are now two nil in front of Sassuolo. In McKenny, McKenny, oh McKenny. You have just proved that I'm signing you permanently. Now Manga Nila. What a goal, though. I can't. I honestly, how? 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 Just how? Obiang. Capatuo, Dardia, Romero, Morata. Gotta find someone to make that run. Morata, excellent run being made by Pellegrini. Inside, but Morata couldn't hit it. Oh yeah, Romagnoli has not made his debut in this match. Some people are asking why. I just feel like it's not worth wasting his stamina. Now Capatuo. Priestess, Tojan, Harrelson. Oh, what is Buffon doing way off of his line? What are you doing, Buffon? McKenny. Now De Angelino. Ooh, went for the challenge. Probably will get a warning there from the referee after the advantage is played. Buffon. It's not gonna be played, but after like once the ball goes out, he might get a warning. Pijaka. Oh, he can't keep that in. But I knew something was going to be good because when you have it like that and it bounces and the player has the ball, your player has a chance of hitting it on the volley and scoring. Now Boga. Ball comes in and gets to Romero, but Rogani did well there. Now Pijaka. Obong. Now Kries. Obiang. By the way, we will have object objectives in this episode. Now Rogani. I think I'm I'm going to try to do this. I'm not going to make my own objectives, but I'm going to try to follow the club's objectives. Now Pijaka. Pijaka. Back post, but cleared away. Mbabu, get something. Oof. No. Boga's now, who's very fast. Plays it through. Rum Rugani, who's been phenomenal in this match. Did really well there. McKenny makes a great challenge. Now Dardia. Now up. Boga is through. Romero can't do anything. But 
great work. I'm gonna make a sub. Alejandro will come on. Is there anybody else? I kind of feel like our team's getting a little tired. Let's bring on Kuliveski for Pijaka, even though he has been brilliant. Pijaka, just to freshen things up a bit. Hyacinth will come on first, and now Kuliveski. Now Romero. Mbabu, keep it in. Oh, I can't. That was poor from Romero. He's saying his apologies. Now Locatelia, Boga, Mbabu. McKenny gets it back in a great area. What ought to go through? Oh, no. Good work there. Ayahan. Capatuo. Uh oh. Romero tackles his own man. Rugani can't clear it away. Took a deflection as he was clearing it away. Now Rugani. I'm going to play that. Oh, what a terrible pass. Oh, no. Oh, what a save by Buffon. Still wants to. He really does want that clean sheet. On comes Adrian Rabio for the last five minutes. Got to mark somebody. Who am I going to mark? I'm going to stay in that position with Romero. Great block there. Now, I don't know who that is, but I know Romero, no, Rugani blocked that. Now Tojan. Up. Batelia in. Good clearance there. Now McKenny. Kuliveski. Now De Angelino. Angelio. Who has had a, not a bad game. I wish he scored that free kick. Now Biong, Batelia, the shot, great easy catch for Buffon. Adrian Ravio now, Bentancor, and it's full time, and it's a win here versus Swasolo. But let's take one final look at that goal from Weston McKenney. Look, okay, look, he did brilliantly to control it, slow-mo, let's go slow-mo. He did, touched it with his head, he touched it again, he got around his man, and he just connected with the power because it bounced perfectly for him. Let's look at that again. Boom. No no keeper. Look at that power behind it. See the stats. I feel like they had more shots. Yeah. But not a bad game. We went 2-0. We got to three points. I really am hoping that Chesney can be sold. Mbabu is really tired. Um, but one thing I'm gonna do with Kevin Mbabu is I'm gonna instructions. I'm gonna put attacking runs. Attacking runs. Chiesa, trans creation, Ibala, support on crosses, I'm gonna say. Avio This is some interceptions with him. No, let's just keep him on normal. Stay back while attacking. That makes sense. Arthur. Oh, not stay back during attacking. Support. Position freedom. Romagnoli. Interceptions. There we go. Captain Romagnoli has already got the captain's armband. Let's make sure everything else. Rolls, free kick, free kicks, long free kick, right corner, right corner. Yep, everything is Ronaldo's except the captain's armband and the corners. And yeah, that's not, it's not all done the episode, but we gotta keep going. Shoot, L Luca Pellegrini has sent us a chat, which I want to respond to, just to show I'm a good coach. Hey boss, I know people have been talking about the position you're playing, man. I just want to say I'm ready to do whatever necessary. I'm happy to play as a left winger. You can do even better. Okay. Really? Oh, yeah, yikes. Why? I just have to accept this two offers for Pinzuelo. First of all, what? Barcelona? I have never seen that. OMG. Um, I'm not going to accept that from Leipzig. Not even close to my evaluation of them. Remove the exchange plan. I'm going to demand at least $55 million, And if they reject that, then I'm walking out. Remove the exchange player, $55 million. We need it. 
What's the 50 million to be safe? Okay, they accept that. Maybe I was a little easy. But we don't need the cash, necessarily. Donnarumma will come in. He's going to cost at least 130. That 50 mil will take us to like two something. We'll barely, I think, be able to afford all three of them. Chesney has been sold. The players that I want permanently. That is all, though, for today's episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And if the comments are on, please write one. Bye.